I tried YouTube Shorts for 30 days, and in this video, I'll be talking about why I did it, how I did it, my results, and what I learned. So why make YouTube Shorts? As an aspiring entrepreneur, I've been looking into different ways to make money online, especially opportunities and side hustles to make passive income outside of my full-time job. After seeing so many successful channels pop up on my YouTube recommendations, I was inspired and I had to try it out myself. After all, it seemed pretty simple. Just create a new channel, copy and paste clips into different shorts, gain subs, and then profit, right? So what was my process? First, I had to pick an idea for my channel. After watching a few other channels that tried out YouTube Shorts, I came up with the perfect niche. The man, the myth, the legend himself, Mark Cuban. It just made sense. I'm an aspiring entrepreneur and Mark is a successful entrepreneur. I'm trying to make passive income and Mark got rich starting and selling different companies. Plus, I was a longtime fan of Shark Tank and Mark was my favorite shark. He's an idiot, he's a con artist. Oh! Channel creation. Now that I've picked my channel idea, I had to create my channel. I secured the Mark Cuban Clips channel name, grabbed a pic of Mark Cuban for the profile pic, and I used Canva to create my YouTube banner. Dallas Mavericks Blue, of course, and my channel was officially created. I wanted to compare performance across different social media outlets, so I also created accounts on Instagram and TikTok. Next, for my content, I found a semi-recent video of Mark Cuban on YouTube, watched the video at 1.5 times speed, marked timestamps for useful or juicy segments, and used Use YouTube DL to download the video onto my computer. I ended up making my first 10 YouTube shorts off of that one YouTube video alone. Editing. I'm not going to go into detail of my entire editing process, but I experimented with different video editing software and I decided to go with DaVinci Resolve to edit my videos and CapCut to provide auto captions. It took me many hours of trial and error to develop my own workflow, but I was able to create a YouTube short in about 20 minutes. Maybe I'll make a detailed video of my whole process in the future, but anyways. Uploading. I uploaded each completed video to YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, as well as TikTok. In terms of upload schedules, I didn't have one. I just tried uploading as much as I could each day. The first day, I uploaded four videos. My second day, four videos again. Third day, two videos. As I continued to churn out video after video, day after day, I slowly started to burn out. Before long, I uploaded my last video a couple of weeks later, which is when I decided to stop making Mark Cuban clips altogether. My results. Between the period of February 8th and February 23rd, I created and uploaded a total of 17 short form videos. On YouTube Shorts, this resulted in around 40,000 total views, 455 hours of watch time, and 58 subscribers by the end of February. My most viewed video was one where Mark Cuban talks about how he bought the Dallas Mavericks, which had around 14,000 views. This video also happened to be the longest video that I made at 56 seconds. My least viewed video had 64 views, and my videos usually averaged around a couple thousand views each. With TikTok, the growth I experienced was a lot faster. My videos all got around 1,000 views until my sixth video, which got up to 10.4K views, which at the time was a huge win and was the most number of views that I got on a video in my first week. I continued posting on TikTok, but once I got to my 10th video, my views completely dropped off a cliff and have only about 10 to 20 views for my last eight or so videos. To this day, my TikTok account has 33 followers and 704 total likes. As for Instagram, let's not talk about it. For some reason, my Instagram page was private for the first like one to two days when I was posting. So this account virtually has no views at all. After I posted video number 10, I just stopped posting entirely. The Insta account still only has one follower who's actually my friend Joel, who I told to follow me. But anyways, it's been a little bit over a month since I stopped posting Mark Cuban clips and around two months since I started posting. While I was making this current video, I went back to my Mark Cuban Clips YouTube channel to check out the analytics, and I was really shocked. As of April 5th, my channel has gotten nearly 70,000 total views, 885 hours of watch time, and 110 total subscribers. My most viewed video is still the one about Mark Cuban buying the Dallas Mavericks, which now has around 36,000 views, which is the most number of views that I've ever gotten on a piece of content that I've made. Another huge win. As I'm looking back and reflecting on a couple of months ago, I can't help but to feel really grateful that I decided to do this in the first place. Even though it was such a crazy grind to learn how to gather, edit, and post content because I had never done this before. Which brings me to my last point. What did I learn and what are my main takeaways? Number one, consistency is key. 
When I first started, I was so eager to start posting that I posted four shorts across all social media platforms. And I did the same the second day. This led me to being pretty inconsistent with my postings, where some days I post one, some days two, and I would miss a few days between postings, and eventually getting burnt out. If I were to do it again, I would plan out and schedule all of my postings, such as one to two shorts a day, and then to stick with that. Number two, choose your channel topic or niche carefully. With Mark Cuban clips, there were a couple of issues. First off, Mark Cuban felt like way too specific of a niche for me. After finding the first couple of Mark Cuban clips on YouTube, it got harder and harder to find new and even interesting videos. And I ended up spending a significant amount of time looking through YouTube and listening to hours and hours of interviews. I also felt like my channel sort of limited me from posting similar content from other business people that were not Mark Cuban. Also, I like Mark Cuban, but I realized that I'm not that interested in him as a topic. If I were to do it again, I would probably choose a niche that's a lot more broad, such as business, finance, sports, etc. If you're working with a topic that you enjoy, it'll feel like less busy work, which also helps fight against burnout. Number three, if you have a vision or a goal, just go for it. Initially, I was hesitant to even start posting YouTube shorts. I had doubts because I had never done it before, and I felt self-conscious about what other people would think even though I was posting content without revealing my actual face. For so many of us, fear of judgment or failure often prevents us from pursuing our goals and our interests. Looking back, I'm so glad that I even decided to try, because as I'm editing this video, I feel that where I am right now as a video editor and content creator is light years from where I was back then two months ago. Starting to create content can feel so complex, but in reality it shouldn't be, and it's pretty simple. Just start. This goes the same for making faceless, short form, as well as long form content. It's crazy to see that even now, even after not posting on the channel for a while, I've basically doubled my subscriber count and people are still watching the shorts that I made. I really think that if I wanted to continue Mark Cuban Clips, I could potentially grow this channel to get even bigger. But for now, Mark Cuban Clips will remain retired. If I do decide to do YouTube Shorts again, I'm confident that I'll do a lot better than the first time. In the end, I'm constantly motivated by others who are creating their own YouTube Shorts and automation channels that have done exceptionally well. And I'm encouraged because I can see how I'm learning and growing more as an editor and content creator. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm a product manager and I post videos about my job, my life, and essentially anything else I'm doing in my free time. Big shout out to Chris Barros, who was my inspiration to creating this video, as well as starting to create YouTube Shorts in the first place.